So when did you realize acting was a profession that you could do? When I started going out for commercials, uh, because modeling was like, a lot of people start out as models. It's right. just like that extra step. But Why up until then, it didn't cross your mind. You were like, oh, I'm going to be an actor. And no. It wasn't until someone put me in a room and was like, oh, this is how you, this is what I have to do to get a job because I can do that. <laughs> and is then it? I was learning. All, it was like I was always getting on the job training. Right. And I was always eager. I was always a sponge. I'm still like that. And kind of just learning as I went along, figuring out what I liked and what I didn't like. I think when you're young and you're trying to do something, it almost feels like, oh, I'll just trick them into hiring me. I still feel pe like I've tricked people. <laughs> uh, I don't, you know. How did you get in here? How did I get into this room right now? I've tricked a lot of people. Well, I tricked people to get this room. Right. So it's it's a whole house of cards. Yeah, but I think everybody feels that way a little bit. Yeah. I think we're all tricking people. But when you were doing it for the first time, when you got sent on these commercial auditions, yeah. did you were you sort of like, always sort of checking the reactions and going, oh, that worked and that didn't. And yeah, you know, when I first started going to these commercial auditions, there was like, based on your personality and being silly. And luckily, like, I knew how to do that. Right. And I wasn't afraid. I was kind of obnoxious. I'd pull my dress over my head to get a laugh. But I think also that if it isn't your sole purpose in life to be something, maybe you don't have that that smell of, of desperation on you either. Like, maybe you're able to do that because it was like, oh, I just want to get this job. Mm -hmm. I don't need them to like me and think I'm an actor. You know what I mean? You know, Brian Cranston talks a lot about, like, the audition process. And oh, yeah? You're not going in to try and get the job. You're going in to do what you do great. And that's me, like, totally boiling it down and paraphrasing Brian Cranston, which I shouldn't do because he's amazing. But he said that, he talks about that um, a lot. He said that to me when... I've met him years ago, and I like really, that, that spoke to me in a really huge way. And I've kind of like hung on to that. I'm like, oh yeah, you just gotta do you, right? Some people don't learn that until they're a lot older. And there's a lot of obstacles along the way trying to like stop you from doing that. I How even so? remember like when I was like in acting classes in New York, I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm a spaz and I'm super quirky and I talk really fast. And everyone was trying to get me to stop doing all of those things. Right. And well, so that's how I booked all the all my jobs when I started at the beginning. It's like, oh, well, that's working. So, <laughs> um, and it wasn't like I was trying to do anything. I was just being me. Yeah, yeah. And I, I, so I watched that with other people too. Like, sometimes you come out the other end of these serious acting programs, maybe without that thing that made you super cool, without that thing that made you like kind of different.